So it's Jen's, can we say? No. So it's Jen's 40th birthday. That's my wire cutter. It actually works pretty good. Right in between these two teeth is 18 gauge and over here is 20 gauge. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my gosh. It's a box. Get to open the <gasps> Are you kidding? Carrie here from Homestead High. Welcome to our homestead. In today's video, it's going to be Jen's 40th birthday. And this is her truck. This is our homestead truck. One of the things she wants for her birthday is a new radio in this truck. And I found one on Amazon for $46. I know, I'm a cheap bastard. But I got her a really expensive, nice present, which we're going to show you later in this video. But first, we're going to install this $46 seven inch touch screen radio in here. This thing you can watch movies on it, it's got a backup camera, it's got Bluetooth, the whole nine yards. It looks like a pretty advanced radio for $46. So let's see what we get. We're gonna install that and then we're gonna show you the big present that we got her for her birthday. What are we doing? Putting a stereo in for mom's birthday. Putting a stereo in for mom's birthday. It's one of the two presents we got her. It was a stereo on Amazon. She said she wants a really cool stereo in her truck. They're pretty inexpensive on Amazon. We actually got a really cool one with a little TV screen on it and a camera, so it's raining out, but Kenny and I are gonna try to put that in today. So this is the radio we got on Amazon. I'll leave a link down in the description. The radio itself, it's a touch screen. So now we gotta get the old radio up. Katie's gonna help me with that. This is the radio. And then I bought this extra because normally with the radio you get all these wires and then you have to hook all of the wires up, you have to match all the colors up. This is supposed to just do that for us and make it a lot easier. So hopefully that will work. So the first thing is we gotta take the old radio out. So we're probably gonna need some tools, so. It's a backup camera, yeah. We're gonna have to wire that in too and figure out a place to run the wires. That's your job, you're gonna have to crawl under there in the rain and um, hook it all up in there. All right, let's see if we can get this old radio up. So the first one I grabbed, seven millimeters, just happened to be the right one. Stop! I don't know what I'm doing! You know I'm not going to read the directions, right? Oh my gosh. Alright, so we got to hook these wires up to this thing. That's the first step. Two. So we stripped all these wires, and this is probably overkill, but I got these uh, shrink tube things. They're kind of cool. That I'm going to use. Okay, whenever you do this, you do these wires, you want to kind of go that way so that they twist into each other. And almost like weave together. And then we can go like this, put that shrink tube over it. Here, you can do this part. So those turned out pretty good. Katie got those all. Melted? Melted. Now I'm looking at this little camera. This is cheap little camera. I don't know if it's even going to be worth hooking it in there. Now we're going to try to hook the camera up to the back. That camera has to have power, but you only want it to have power when you're in reverse. So these white lights go on when you go in reverse. So we have to wire into those white lights. So I'm trying to get the light hook un unhooked. There we go. So these two wires right here, we gotta we gotta get into. I got this scrap wire, which is much thicker than we need, but why not? I see a little opening down there.
All right, don't show this part. Okay, this was horrible doing in the rain. I should have just waited, but I spliced into the backup light. I got the wire going down there, so I'll be able to attach the camera on. So now I'm going to put the light back on. We still have to run the cable all the way up. So Katie found this hole under this running plastic thing. So we're gonna see if we can get the cord to come up through here. I've got a blanket and I'm gonna crawl around underneath the truck now. So I'm just uh, routing this backup camera cable through here and I'm using a bunch of tie wraps to secure it up out of the way of the suspension and everything. We're getting there, it's pretty close now. So the cable that came with this isn't going to reach. So I'm drilling a hole here. There's already holes over here. I'm going to drill one next to it. Pull the cable through and then I'm going to splice that cable and add more length onto it so I can make it up to the radio. Luckily I have some of this thermostat cord sitting here. This is five wire or six wire but I only need three of them. And I know these are little wires but they're actually the exact same gauge as these wires and they just happen to have the same colors too which will make it a little bit easier. So I cut this piece off and I'm going to extend it with this up to the radio. Yellow, black, and red. Now we got to get it up to the radio. So I'm going to tuck it under this carpet here and then under this piece of plastic. Okay. So we got the wire pulled up through the under part, which was the tricky part, and then we got it going under this. There's going to be a piece of plastic here, and then we have it spliced here using some thermostat wire, which was the same gauge, and then we have it tucked under here, real nice and neat, tucked under here. I tie wrapped it up about five times, and then it goes up and into the radio. So Katie's holding on to the other end, this to that, and pray that it still works. That's my wire cutter. It actually works pretty good. Right in between these two teeth is 18 gauge and over here is 20 gauge. <laughs> Look at that. Maybe I don't need that. Katie, I forgot how to hook this up now. Okay, final connections, hopefully. Pretty psyched that we had this uh, thermostat cable. That was really old. It had about 50 feet of it there. Nice to be able to reuse something. And it just happened to be the exact same gauge wire. What is this supposed to go to? And it had the same colors. Katie, that's a very good question. Let me get back to you on that one. I have no idea what that's for. I think that's for a different type of car. That goes into radio in, or camera in. Antenna's in, that's in. Put that back. Let's give it a... Should we leave it like that? Do you think Mom will get mad? <laughs> We're done! Please help me cause I'm breaking down Oh thank god Yeah but it's upside down Yep So you just turn this over yeah. again <laughs> Alright now we just gotta mount this thing and we're done We're done. We're done. No. Keep going. All right, so my daughter Katie and I finished installing this radio in Jen's car about a week or two ago. So we've had about two weeks of use off of this, and Jen's holding the camera right now. What do you think? I really like it. I really like it. It is a cheaper radio, obviously, at $46, but it has really good reviews on Amazon. It has the backup camera, which works great. You can see right there. It has uh, Bluetooth, which is one of the main reasons Jen wanted it. Yep. We used to have one of those Bluetooth things that you plug into the cigarette lighter and then you got to put it in a certain station. This one you just 
turn your phone on Bluetooth and you can play music right from the phone. The, the tuner is also really good. This 102.9, this is a channel from Milwaukee, which is like an hour and 45 minutes from our house. It comes in perfectly clear in here. It did not come in on the other factory radio that we had in here. So we get a lot more channels. We never change the antenna. It just something with the radio picks up channels really good. It's got the equalizer. It's got all sorts of little features. I really like the radio and the touch screen, though. I mean, obviously, you just touch it. Besides the Bluetooth, the other cool thing is there's a little memory card holder. It's probably too dark in here to see, but it takes a mini memory card. And you can load that sucker up with music and even movies, which you should not do while you're driving, obviously. But this thing will actually play movies. So just as an example, I put one of our YouTube videos on here. So yeah, it's got a, it actually has a pretty good picture. So you got a seven inch screen. This is our uh, video from our YouTube channel. So you can put movies in it on this little memory card. You can watch a full movie in here. Which again, you should not do while you're driving. We won't do this while we're driving. You can load the memory card up with hundreds of songs. So you can play songs from the memory card. You can use the FM radio. You can use the Bluetooth. You can watch movies. It even has a thing for uh, photos. So you can load up a bunch of photos and have a photo gallery on here. So here's a picture of our dog, for example. Katie took that picture. So overall, it's a pretty cool radio. The touchscreen works great. The backup camera, it's kind of cheap. I don't know how long it's going to last, but for $46, I can't complain too much about it. We kept the old radio because it wasn't broken. Jen just wanted something different, something new. The other thing with this one is, I mean, you tell them what you think, but she wanted a louder radio, so I was going to get speakers and some other things. This one had really good reviews, and it seems like it's much louder than the factory default radio. Yes, it's much louder. It's easier to use. I don't, know if it has a bigger... I don't have to, like he said, I don't have to plug anything in and just push Bluetooth and play it off my, my phone, which is nice. I know the newer cars have that, but this is a 2005, so it doesn't have that. But, I mean, you have everything on here that you need. You can make phone calls on it if you want. Oh, that's the other thing. The Bluetooth, you not only play music from your phone, but you can make phone calls from it. So you click on Bluetooth, and it, it takes your whole, all your contacts from her phone are in here. And she could just click on this press one of the phone numbers on there and it'll automatically dial and then it'll play through the speaker system. There's actually a microphone on here. So that's kind of a cool feature too. The only thing that, the big con I would say with this is the camera that's attached to it just seems really cheap and crappy. It's working well, but I don't imagine it's going to last very long, but I guess we'll, time will tell. We have some pretty rough Wisconsin winters and with snow and ice and uh, I don't know, I don't think it's going to last too long, but we'll see about that. And still, even without the backup camera, all the features that you get in here for 46 bucks, I'd say it's pretty much worth it. It's kind of cool radio. Our camper is all getting decorated because tomorrow is Jen's 40th birthday. We're taking her to her favorite restaurant. So it's Jen's, can we say? No. So it's Jen's 40th birthday and uh, we're taking her to her favorite restaurant even though coronavirus is going around and everything's on lockdown. If you want to go to your favorite restaurant, you just have to buy a camper like this, and then you can get curbside delivery, and then you can have a nice romantic candlelit dinner at your own table after throwing the stuff up there in the microwave and washing your hands. So we're going to Olive Garden, which is like an hour from our house for Jen's 40th birthday dinner. The exciting part is I told Carrie we normally don't get the mail until a few days later. So he just opened the mailbox, and there was the <laughs> best surprise in there. Oh my gosh! Oh! Aww! Who is it from? I don't know, but I'm crying already. Aww, uh, roll of toilet paper, too! <laughs> How did they just put that? That's nasty. Uh, car. Oh no, that's Uncle Tony. You gotta wash your hands. Oh my god, Tony came all the way here! This is my brother's handwriting! I'm already crying! This toilet paper was a nice touch. Wordy, fun, fantastic, fabulous. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Has he been signing that since beginning of quarantine? He says, happy birthday, happy birthday, 40 times. His thing with me is every year he's got to sing happy birthday, how many years I am. So I bet you it's 40 birthdays on here. Has he got me a cake? I know it's him because I knew his handwriting. Oh, my gosh. Tony! <laughs> I don't wear makeup and I just put some on. So for Jen's 40th birthday, we want to have the nice dine-in experience, nice candlelight dinner table, eating at one of her favorite restaurants, 
we don't have that many choices out here. This is an hour drive from our house. We're going to Olive Garden. Their dining room's actually closed, but we brought our own dining room and our own table with, and we got a little candlelight dinner, and hopefully one of the girls is gonna be the little waitress, and they're gonna come around, and they're gonna say, would you like some cheese on that? Can I get you some more breadsticks? And we're gonna play some Italian music, and we got some birthday decorations and some lights, and thanks to Uncle Tony, we have a birthday cake with us that we can eat after we're done eating our dinner. So we made it. I'm very happy this is my birthday, one of my many birthday presents, because look at how beautiful that table looks. When you're here, you're family. The girls decorated, we have a bunch of balloons for Jen's birthday. Yay. We've got the happy birthday banner going. We're going to put on some happy birthday music, <laughs> Italian music. We have this awesome cake that Uncle Tony <laughs> drove all the way to our house and put Four in our hours. mailbox. So we have dessert. Aww. To be extra safe, we can take this Olive Garden food, put it in the microwave, and then wash our hands. So I'm handling everything, probably being overprotective, but just to be extra safe, sanitize everything so we don't get the coronavirus. We've gone this far, why would we stop now? Yeah, that's one of the nice things. We got a table, we got a sink, we can wash our hands, we can mm -hmm. microwave it, sanitize it. beautiful this is. I'm being very careful, and then I'm gonna wash my hands thoroughly afterward. Whoa, jeez, oh boy. <laughs> Real careful. Is that going to fit in there? That's going to be a tight fit. Toast? Boop. Probably not good to use the toaster oven and the microwave at the same time, but it seems to be working. Oh, we got those as a backup. Would Great. you like some great some shredded cheese on your salad? Yeah. Tell me when to stop. Oh, I don't like that. Tell me when to stop. Well, Tell me when to stop. We're, we're, we're re-crisping them. Got a candlelight dinner for Jen's 40th birthday. We got her favorite restaurant, Olive Garden, and she's got some linguine alfredo, some Olive Garden salad, little zuppa castana. I get to pick anything. I didn't either. Go back then. Oh, I've been holding it wrong. That's why. Oh, I can push you. Hey! No one say anything. Why do you even talk? Katie, did you let her win for her birthday? No, she beat me the whole way up for the last round. Katie, did you let her win? Be honest. No. She beat you fair and square. Yeah. Okay, my turn. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Okay, blow them up quick before we get a fire. How old are you? How old are you? How old are you? Thank you. Red and blue makes purple. Yeah. You want purple? Yeah, purple would be a pretty color. Purple's gonna look weird with this. You gotta be careful not to overdo it. Are we not gonna use these then? Let's not overdo it, it might ruin it. I mean, because we don't go anywhere, we haven't stepped foot in a store or anything. Okay, everyone, look at the camera. Look at the camera. I am in there. It's taking video right now. This is so awkward. <laughs> Happy birthday, dear Jen Mom. Jen Mom. Happy birthday to you. Is she dancing? That took so long. I don't think you're going to be able to pull it. Puma really from Peanut. Pull this. It's going to be really hard to pull. There's a whole bunch of stuff going to explode. Fall out, fall out. No. Is there a hundred dollars? Just a little stick of dynamite in there. Oh my gosh, look at how cute that is. That took, How'd I, you fold that? I watched a lot of YouTube videos. Aww. That's the present right there. Happy birthday. Sorry I did not have enough money to buy a real present. I thought this was enough. That's enough. That took so long. I thought it was back so up. <laughs> Bring. Now fold it back up for me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Thank oh, you. Oh, sit on the chair. I can't sit on your lap. Oh, I get a turtle. Oh, I didn't see that already. I saw it. Oh, oh that look at how good. pretty. It's a floating turtle. Katie, hey, did you draw water. that? Um, about <laughs> that. <laughs> Wow, and you gotta put your name and the date on the here. I need to share it. That's awesome. Wow, this is a really good birthday. Where is it? Who's this from? Emma. Your mom. Wow, <laughs> Emma. Holy cow. That's she got the Wow. I'm like him. 
And she actually bought this with her own money. I love lavender. And it'll put me to sleep. That's why I got it. To put her to sleep? <laughs> Yeah, Holy crap, Emma, how many things did you get me? A lot. Mom's coupon book. Ooh, I like yes, that. I drew that. No, she wrote mom's and then Ooh, I wrote brush the brush. hair 20 minutes. Make mom's bed for a week? Are they one of those smelly lot. ones? No. No? Oh, oh it's bracelet. got a turtle on it. Oh, it's not. I'm the king of the castle. There's a 600 piece I wear in there these the game time. bracelets for every year I, I wear them. Oh, just wait. And then we just go wait. to. Just wait, open your next oh, one. Then we go somewhere every year, and they get the same ones, but oh. they lose theirs. No, it's we had and to I still have mine on for a year, I so I never one. take mine off. I didn't you take mine off for basketball. Yeah. So we picked the, next we picked birthday, the I'll have this on. Oh, jeez, and another one? one? It's not. She said she didn't finish it yet. Wow. I said I didn't finish it yet because you have to tell me what you want me to put on I it. I love it. It looks like mountains already. Like, right wow. I want you to finish it. I'm not That's telling you. That's what I just said. No, I'm saying I don't want you to. Is it recording? Thank you, guys. Where we go, no matter what we do, you'll always be there for me, and I'll always be there for you. One for you, one for me. This is very exciting. You built it up too much. I want to rip it up. Save the best for last. Uh, it's a box. Get to open the box. <gasps> Are you kidding? <laughs> why am I not to cry? I don't know why. Get it out! Get it out! It's long yes. Long. Thank I you. Do you know what it is? Yes! Um, Holy cow, Kira, are you kidding Mom, me? It was... Yeah, I think so you can imagine. So now I can do all my YouTube videos. Don't break it. You know how many times my key knows how many times my computer shut off. I would be working on my computer and it would just shut off are for no reason. It? No, I'm not that stupid. Oh my gosh, wow. it's so That's big. big. She's got some I thought No, I'm like, no, you have to look under it. I don't look like it. it. Why okay, okay, just leave this up. We're not going anywhere. I'm gonna stay home and work now. Look at this goal. That's nice. Oh my god. Wow. That's good. <laughs> I want one of those. Oh, right that's right? what that weird charger yes, was. Same. Oh my that's god. Ha! There's no screen. Wow. Yeah, this screen is extra. What's already on? It looks so clean. Wait, can you touch it? Did you start it for me already? No. No. Just, you just opened it. That's the first time it's been opened. I know, opened. but it's weird that it just turned on. And There's do directions. It. Dad knows how to do it. Oh, you get a sticker. That's the best part. <gasps> Can I have oh, it? Oh, those are nope. so sweet. You have to put these up now. Next time on Homestead How, Jen plants a huge cornfield. What sense does that make? Stop yelling at me, Jen. I don't know. You know, I'm getting angry now. <laughs> Dude, stop! I want to get rid of them. No.